biomaterials are reshaping healthcare, helping us detect disease earlier and developing smarter therapy. Today, we're exploring this exciting field with Professor Molly Stevens, the leading expert developing nanomaterial that interact with our bodies in new ways. So let's go meet her. Hello, Professor. Such a pleasure to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet and you. Thanks for taking your time. No worries. I have so many interesting questions, but first I need to understand. So your work kind of sits at the intersection of bioengineering, yep. material science and medicine. What drives your vision for using these biomaterials to actually have impact in healthcare? Well, well, the team's even more discipline, multidisciplinary than that, actually. We've also got chemists and okay. surgeons and physicists and computer scientists. So it, it really is a complete mix of lots of different people. And actually, that intersection of those different fields coming together is what enables us to design really exciting new biomaterials for a whole range of different applications in healthcare. Fantastic. And one of the focuses for you right now is equal access to advanced diagnostics. Yep. Can you maybe share an example of a technology that you're working with that can enable this? Yeah, I can. Um, so we, we work on quite a lot of different biomaterial systems. So the diagnostics is mm -hmm. one, one area, which I'll, I'll tell you about. Um, we also do a lot of work in advanced therapeutics and also materials for regenerative medicine. So in the diagnostics context, what's really important is thinking about how we can design diagnostics that don't go to work going to work really, really well, but actually at price points that can work across the world. Yeah. Because the problem we have right now is there's a lot of people in a lot of different places around the world that just can't access the best yeah. diagnostics because the price points are out of range. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we've been working on technology that can work very, very well, but much faster, much cheaper. Um, mm -hmm. And that's going to be brilliant, you know, for getting those diagnostics for to, to people who can't currently access them. That sounds yeah. like an amazing focus area. But if you were to look ahead, let's say for the next five to 10 years, what impact are you hoping to make in the field? Well, definitely uh, the diagnostics work that you yeah. mentioned is a big area for us. And we've already spun out a couple of companies in that area. Uh, one of them is going for FDA approval next year. So that's really Congrats. exciting. Um, and then we have a lot of work going on in the advanced therapeutic space as well. And also thinking about how we can design new types of materials that can interact with the brain in interesting ways to help with very complex diseases. Um, so it's really about pushing the science, you know, really state of the art science, but then also thinking, how do we get Get that out of the lab and into society so that's a big driver for us that sounds absolutely amazing i wish you the best of luck thank and thank you, you so thanks much so for much. joining us today nice to meet you nice to meet you